Hello and welcome to another tech video on this channel. Today in this video, we will see the introduction of the AWS EKS Kubernetes project. The second part would be a hands-on demo of the platform provisioning and the setup. And in the last part, we will see a DevOps pipeline in action, which will in turn deploy a sample application on EKS. So without further ado, let's dive deep into today's introduction video. So here we see that we have used a mix of open source as well as AWS tools. We have GitHub for source code management. We have Jenkins for orchestration. We have Maven to build your Java applications. We have Docker to build your containers. We have IAM to authorize and authenticate. We have CloudWatch for monitoring and logging. We have EKS to deploy your Kubernetes applications. And finally, we have ECR to host our container images. Let's move forward with the platform. So this is the platform on which we are going to deploy all our tools and DevOps pipeline on. So primarily we will use AP Southeast one. That is the Singapore region. Our infrastructure would be spread across three availability zones. That is AP Southeast one A, AP Southeast one B and AP Southeast one C. Within the VPC, we will have in total nine subnets, three web public subnets, that is 1A, 1B and 1C, three app private subnets, again 1A, 1B and 1C, and three DB private subnets. For this demo, I'm not going to use the DB private subnets, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, as a best practice, we should have a three tier based VPC architecture where our internet facing components are deployed in our web subnets. Our actual application will be deployed in the app subnet and everything related to database will be deployed in the database subnets. Moving forward with the infrastructure, we have internet gateway attached to the VPC for internet based traffic. We have three NAT gateways deployed for outgoing internet traffic. This is according to the best practices so that our NAT gateways are highly available. I have a Windows jump server to access our tool sets. I have a Linux jump server from where I can SSH into all the private tools. This Linux jump server is optional. We can do SSH via Windows jump server as well, but I'm comfortable with Linux. That's why I've added Linux as well. Our EKS cluster is deployed across multiple availability zones. Even though it is a single entity, I wanted to demonstrate that it is a highly available component. We have EKS worker nodes, which is again deployed across two availability zones, 1B and 1C. We have Jenkins master, which is again deployed in a private app subnet. We have a Jenkins slave, which will be connected to the Jenkins master. Within the Jenkins master, we will install Git. Within the Jenkins slave, we will install Git, Helm, Docker, kubectl and maven we have iam users and iam roles to authenticate our eks clusters eks worker nodes linux jump servers and jenkins slaves we will demonstrate that uh, when we move to the second part we have cloudwatch logs and container insights so all the logs which will be generated in your eks cluster your pod logs your cluster logs everything will be logged to your CloudWatch logs and all the metrics related to your pods would be logged into the container insights. So all the metrics, for example, memory, CPU, everything that will be generated, it will be logged to your container insights. I will show that during the demo. And finally, we have the ECR repository where we are going to store our Docker images. So this is more or less the platform where we are going to deploy our Jenkins pipeline. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Moving forward with the DevOps pipeline. So this is a simple DevOps pipeline that we are going to implement in our part three of the video. So as soon as the developer updates the code in the GitHub, we have a couple of options. We can automatically trigger the Jenkins pipeline or the Jenkins pipeline can be triggered manually as well. So as soon as the Jenkins pipeline is triggered, we will pull the code from the GitHub. All the code related to Jenkins, your Java, everything will be pulled into your Jenkins slave. 
as soon as the code is downloaded the next stage would be to build the war using the maven once the build is successful we will dockerize the image using the docker build command once that is done we will push the docker image onto the ecr repository after that we will install the application using helm install command and finally it will be deployed to your eks cluster this concludes part 1 of the three part video series for the devops project in the next part we are going to implement the platform where we will provision the entire infrastructure that is our vpcs subnets internet gateways nat gateways all the ec2 instances eks clusters your worker node your ecr registry cloudwatch and iam and in the last part we are going to actually implement the pipeline so if you have any questions related to the platform or the pipeline please uh, feel free to comment i will try to answer all your queries thank you